We got you back tonight with an update to a story we first brought you a couple of months ago. Police say a local oil company, or people rather, say a local oil company stiffed them, took their money, and then never delivered. Well, now there is a new twist in all of this. News 8's Josh Scheinblum is live tonight with more. Josh? And in Darren, as we all know, it's very cold in New England, and many people try to heat their homes with oil. And in an attempt to save money, they often pre purchase that oil before temperatures get cold. But as we learned today, that's not always a good investment. Well, you only have so much money to live on, you know. This is the home of Frank and Ann Goodace. We have a daughter in Middletown. It sits in picturesque Durham, Connecticut, and in winter, it takes a lot of oil to keep it warm inside. We pay in advance to, of course, save money and lock in a lower rate. But when the Good Ace's oil provider, Ace Oil of Meriden, closed shop some five months ago, they failed to tell them. Nobody from the company uh, <laughs> has ever contacted us. The Good Aces aren't alone. As we first reported back in October, there are many former clients of Ace Oil that never had the oil they purchased delivered. They don't treat their customers right. And like many customers, Frank has the bill to prove it, yet only a letter from U.S. Bankruptcy Court to show for it. It's just as though they've stolen from their customers and uh, then they file bankruptcy and walk away scot-free. When News 8 first found out about this problem, we tracked down this man, George Miles, who identified himself as the company's service manager. How are you going to fix this problem? I don't know. I have no idea. And today, we went back to Ace Oil's headquarters to find out why still, after nearly half a year, nothing has apparently been done to repay those like Frank, who spent thousands of dollars for their services. They weren't there. Even their phones seemed to be offline. The number you are trying to reach is out of service. But as we found out in this latest visit, Frank isn't the only one still left looking for answers. I guess I gotta go somewhere else buy some oil now. We reached out to the Attorney General's office here in the state of Connecticut to try to find out what they're Told us, quote, we are aware of the situation involving Ace Oil and are aware that the company has filed bankruptcy. Per federal uh, bankruptcy law, claims against the company have to be resolved through the bankruptcy proceedings. We are working with the State Department of Consumer Protection in its investigation of this matter and have filed an appearance on behalf of DCP in the bankruptcy proceedings. End quote. Now, if there is any good news to come from this, uh, Frank says that he had paid Ace Oil with a credit card and was able to get those payments canceled. For now, we are live outside the Middletown newsroom at the Middletown Press. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.